Our message for this morning, the sad tale of the butterfly. The sad tale of the butterfly. Napoleon Hill said it. Strength and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. Strength and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle. First Peter 5.10 says, And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Let me read that again. And the God of all grace. It means that if there is grace at all, somebody is a custodian of it. Somebody is the one that dispenses it. His name is God himself. And he says that the God of all grace. So there are many graces. There are many issues you go through. You need a certain grace. Are you following me? You may be going through a certain illness. You need a certain grace. You may be going through a certain problem. You need a certain grace. You may be in a certain prison. You need a certain grace. If you put all those graces together, a, one person is a custodian of all. He is God, our Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he's saying that, and the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory. So if truly God called you, after you have suffered a little while, it is only guaranteeing you that it doesn't matter your level of righteousness, it doesn't matter your holiness, you will go through a certain suffering. But he puts it this way, that you will suffer a little while. Sometimes we think that what we are going through is so overwhelming. We think it is too much for us. But God will not allow any temptation that is beyond us. For whatever we are going through, it is common to man. Man has gone through it and has been able to overcome. And so understand that whatever you are going through, the Lord himself will take you through it. Say a big amen. amen. Say, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you. May the Lord restore you of every issues you have been going through. I didn't hear you, amen. amen. I said, may God himself restore. Then, will himself restore you and make you strong. I pray for strength for you in Jesus' name. Amen. This week, receive strength in Jesus' name. Amen. And will make you strong, fair, and steadfast. One bright morning, a man found a silky cocoon of a butterfly in a garden. He was very eager to see what will happen to that cocoon. The next day, the man found a small opening was appearing from the cocoon. He sat there in a shared curiosity and started watching what happened next to the butterfly for several hours. The butterfly was struggling to wrench its whole body through the little hole. Then suddenly the man found that the butterfly had stopped its movement and could not go further. Therefore, the kind man pitied the innocent butterfly and started to help it. He tried to free the butterfly from a tiny hole by cutting the cocoon with the help of of a Caesar. The butterfly emerged easily because the man helped it. But the butterfly had wigged wings with swollen body. The man was very happy as he helped the butterfly come out from the tiny cocoon hole. The man continued to watch. The man was expecting that any minute the wings of the butterfly would begin to enlarge and it would start to fly. But to his surprise and amazement, nothing happened. In fact, the butterfly, so beautiful and innocent, was never able 
to fly with its wings. The man was very kind, but what he didn't understand was by restricting the cocoon, he actually was disrupting the whole life cycle of the butterfly because the struggle for coming out from the cocoon was necessary for the butterfly's life. It was a natural process of progress, but the man interrupted the entire process. Thus, the beautiful butterfly died because of the kind man's foolishness. Struggle is what makes us strong. The struggle we go through prepare us for future opportunities. Marian Wright said, don't feel entitled to anything you didn't sweat and struggle for. Remember, all of the greatest people in the world have faced their own version of struggle. It is exactly the ability to embrace struggle and push through it which sets apart world-class performers from the rest. You would understand that as we grow up and because we went through struggles of life, when the Lord blesses us and we start raising our own children, we do not want them to go through the things we went through. We start pampering them unnecessarily with the when the tag that we love them and we care so much so we let them avoid the processes of life we don't allow them to go through the struggles of life that doesn't mean that be, be be wicked to your children if you can afford don't do it but you see sometimes we spoil them to the point that we don't let them lift their finger to do anything because we cannot afford house helps and we, we force the house help to do virtually everything. Your daughter is about 10 years old, 15 years old, does not know how to sleep, does not visit the kitchen. And you think that you are giving the best of life. All you do is that, let my daughter be reading, let my son be writing. And you see, when you do this, at a point they face the realities of life, they struggle. By the time they go to boarding school, they can't survive. By the time they enter into the workplace, they can't stand it. Because what they needed to go through, we did not allow them. You thought that you were showing them love. You defend and wait certain processes that were so important to their upbringing that will build character, that will bring tenacity, that will build a certain stability in them. You did not allow them. Because I think you love them so much. What you don't know is that what you are doing to them is hatred. Eventually, they will rise up to fight you. Eventually, they will rise up to think that the world is entitled to them. And that whatever they desire, they must get. And so if they are not getting it, they will not see you, they will bully, they will fight. They cannot understand that in this world, you must struggle and go through it. The Bible says that for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. He despised the shame. The Bible said that at the mention of his name, Jesus, every knee bows and every tongue confesses allegiance that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. He would have waited. He was the Son of God. Why would he come for human beings, normal people, his own creation, to abuse him, insult him, spit at him, and do all kinds of things? Yet he had to remain resolute and go through that process because it was the only way to redeem mankind to himself. If you are looking for shortcut in life, you are only cutting short in your life. If you think that you, 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 will not, you are not ready to go through the crucible state of adversity, you are not ready to embrace life's struggle and overcome, and you are always looking for shortcuts in life, you will survive. You will not survive. And so no matter how God has blessed you, ladies and gentlemen, in the raising of our children and our words and anybody that comes into contact with us, let them go through it. Let them go through it. 
they will grow up to thank you. There are many teachers today, I believe, when you see them, you thank God for their lives. But at the time they were teaching you, you thought that they were the most wicked people you have ever experienced. But such people were the ones that made us stronger and understood life as you were growing. Is that, the, is that the case? But the people who were pampering us and making us feel that we are all the best and they made them the mistakes we do, they are unable to point to us. We grow up and we realize that these people have hurt us so badly. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that you will go through whatever you must go through. And as you go through it, may you overcome them all in Jesus' name. Amen. I didn't hear your amen. I say, as you go through the valleys of shadow of death, may you overcome it all in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will overcome them. Amen. I said you will overcome them. Amen. I declare you will overcome them. Amen. I declare you will overcome them. Amen. I declare you will overcome them Amen. in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be good to you. That whatever challenges that come your way, you will face it head on and you will have the capacity to overcome it in Jesus' name. Shout a big amen. amen. amen.